A housing development fit for a prince, or at the very least inspired by one. Located on the outskirts of the Cornish coastal town of Newquay, Nan Sledden embodies Prince Charles's approach to urban planning and his twin passions of architecture and the environment. We aim to create at least one job per household and we specifically don't design around the motor car. We assume people will walk where they can. Um, we endeavour to use modern technology for renewable energy. The houses are built using traditional Cornish construction methods and locally sourced slate and granite. It will, it will have the, the, the cali with stone on, on, the, on the front and the whole top floor is hung in a locally quarried slate as well. You know, it, it minimises carbon footprint of deliveries and you know, you know, just, just, just minimises the effect of the environment. Those who've already moved in will benefit from so-called edible streets planted with fruit trees, nearby community gardens and nesting boxes for birds and bees. And there's always the chance that His Royal Highness himself might stop by. And I, I'd look out and I thought, I'm sure that's Prince Charles. And he passed that window there. Then he shook my hand and um, said, how long you lived here? Um, he said, what do you think of it? Over the next four decades, the number of homes here will grow from 137 to 4,000. And Nansleden will eventually house a school, businesses, shops and restaurants. Traditionally, Newquay is heavily reliant on seasonal tourist trade. But local businesses hope a growing population will mean custom all year round. When we were sort of running through the winter, we would really dip off. You'd have to save for the summer to sort of carry you through. Whereas now it's, it's not so much for a rush in summer, but we're definitely steady the whole way through the year, which is way better for me. The plan is for 30% of the builds to be social or affordable housing. But many houses on the development are currently priced at over £300,000 a stretch for buyers in England's poorest county, where the average wage is just over £22,000 a year. With many years of construction ahead, Namsleden residents will have to wait and see whether this royal vision is transformed into economic reality.